Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use if and else to add logic to your styles. The if directive in SAS is useful to test for a specific case. It works just like the if statement in JavaScript. So here we've got a mixin kind of a variable or function that we're calling. And then we're going to say if bool is equal to true, then we make it bool. Uh, and the bool is a variable parameter that's passed in from here. And just like in JavaScript, else if and else test for more conditions. So here we have mixin test effect the value. If the value is equal to danger, make it red. Else if the value is equal to alert, make it yellow. If the value is success equals, make it green. And if it's, uh, or, and if, if it's none of these things, then make it black. So we want to create a mixin called border strike. Okay, cool. So the first thing we can do is go mixin border stroke that takes a parameter. So we're going to of value. Cool. And that's how we are going to write our mixin. Then the mixin should check for the following conditions using if, else if, and else. So what we want to say is if, I think it's parentheses, right? Nope, no parentheses. Val is equal to uh, light. Hmm, I wonder if you put it in parentheses or not. I'm not exactly sure. If val is equal to light, <coughs> then we want to go the border stroke, stroke, is going to be equal to uh, the border stroke is equal to one pixel solid and black. Okay, so if the value is equal, if the value being passed in is light, then we want to have this one pixel. Uh, if <clears throat> and then oh, I need to add an else at symbol here. Here we're going to say else if the value is equal to, they only do double equals, so I'm gonna do that here for now. Alert, we're going to make the border stroke equal to three pixels solid black. And then else, if the value is not light, medium, heavy, or medium or heavy, the border should be set to none. Okay, so we want to do another else if the value is equal to heavy. Then we want to make the border stroke equal to six pixels solid black. And then finally at else, here what they're saying is we want to set it to none. So the border stroke is equal to none. And let's run the test, see what happens. Okay, nothing happens. So what happens? What am I doing wrong here? Box, heavyweight, medium. Right now we should have be, oh, okay. We sh I'm not sure. Include border dash stroke medium. Border dash stroke medium. So here it's calling the medium, so it should have a border in here. So medium is not being passed in. Oh, okay, here's what's happening. Light, I made this one alert. It should be medium, and this one should be heavy. Okay, so I just uh, jumped off real quick and found out that what I'm doing here, here's the key that I made a mistake on. Uh, we want to ensure that the mixin should have an if statement to check if val is light and to set the border to one pixel, not border stroke. I've got border stroke here. So if we get rid of border stroke and leave border in there, now we've got a border of uh, being passed in, which we want. And so now if the box ID has a, of a box, you know, if we were to change, here is where we're calling the mixin and adding it to the box div, which is here, you know, box, oops. This is the uh, box div. So you can see inside of this div, we've got the box. And then right now we're calling medium. But what if we went to heavy? We can change, change the variable being passed in. We could also go light. And then we could also, have nothing in there which would uh, I guess 
if we just passed in some random thing, it would get the else statement and have no border. Um, so yeah, that way we can adjust. We're, what we're doing, we're using the, um, uh, yeah, medium is not working. Okay, yeah, medium's working. And so this way we're using uh, variables to adjust our CSS. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next lesson.